Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today we're going to be reviewing from Milestone Brewery, Paranza the Dancer. Um, a deep chestnut winter ale full of Christmas cheer, 4.9%. Let me just get a tin opener. And this year, got it on a, a box set of six different Christmas themed beers from Milestone Brewery. And obviously, I do like uh, Christmas beers. It's the time of year, isn't it? This is a typical Christmas beer. Uh, chestnut in colour, as you can see. Big, creamy head on it. Beige head. Malt on the nose. 4.9% so um, you know it's not overly strong must be good carbonation lacing in there because you won't get the head if you didn't you know right when I actually get to the uh, taste that is Mm. Very malty on the taste. Reminds me of a traditional beer, really, on the taste wise. So, for a company, Milestone Brewery, I mean, I picked up six um, beers, and their range of beers, uh, I'm just looking at them now. I mean, you've got Vixen, I've got that. Santa's Port, I'm not sure about that. Donner and Blitzard, already done that. Brilliant homebrew beer as well. Dash of the Flasher, that also is a homebrew beer. Comes in a kit uh, from decent um, homebrew suppliers. Prance of the Dancer, Cupid, I've got that. Uh, Comet, I've got that. So, I might have all these actually. So six beers, and looking at the range that they do, um, yeah, really good range of beers. I've just read they do a fruit beer, fruit beer range as well. Ah, yeah, Summer Breeze, Raspberry Craft Beer. I've actually got that in the back, I've actually picked it up, that's great. Orange Wheat Beer, Lemon Ginger Beer, uh, Dark Night, so interesting brewery and the fact that they do their own uh, homebrew kits as well is a, is a, a big tick other big comp other companies that do homebrew kits as you know Woodford's um, St Peter's for sure Courage Tiny Rebel Milestone, I'm not sure if there's um, any more after that, but yeah, some interesting bears amongst them. So for me, traditional beer, all about the malts in this. Um, nice bitterness. You get caramel in the flavour. Yeah, room temperature, amazing. Certainly the sort of beer that you could just sit in front of a warm TV, which I'm doing at the moment. I've only just come in, it's just a, a quick review. Uh, watching Christmas films, which is what I'm doing. And uh, just enjoying, enjoying being off work enjoying life and uh, drinking decent beers what is there more to life eh? you know your family's okay you know safe okay and uh, just uh, being able to enjoy life with them because obviously in life you know we obviously we don't know how long we have on the planet because nobody's worked out immortality yet and nobody knows if we actually come back. Pray to God we do. And uh, I mean, I don't pray to God, but uh, you know, you certainly hope that you do in some form anyway. I mean, I don't want to come back as a slug. Yeah. Or a snail. 
And I certainly don't want to come back as a bloody rat. Bastards. But, um... Well, man, coming back as a dog. That won't be so bad. Yeah. Although, although I'm not sniffing arses. Yeah. All that shit. I mean, getting up, eating food, having a drink, sleeping, going for a shit. I mean, you can't afford that sort of thing, can you? But anyway, back to the beer. You know, there's a tangent in this tangent, and that was one phew, tangent. Very nice dark uh, beer, uh, full of malts. There's flavours, can't pick all the flavours out. But, um, you know, what I can say is, and like all my reviews, you know, I am honest in what I say, you know, whether I'm right or wrong, I don't know, you know, it's, you know, you are what you are. Um, tastes damn good. And if this is available in a, in a homebrew kit, um, let me just try that actually, because just for a second. Um, milestone homebrew kit. Just to see what kits they do, because I know they do some. Um, yeah, you've got kits here. Because to be fair, Donner and Blitz said the other day it was one of the best tasting beers I've had in a long time. So yeah, they do. I remember them that. Black Pearl, that's one of theirs. Dash of the Flasher. Loxley Homebrew Kit. Old Home Wrecker Homebrew Kit. Is that it? Right, that's not a more, because I know there's more. Yeah, a boot a bottle. Um, just waiting for it to load up. Five in stock. So, let's go down. What does it say? Fuck off. Oh, dear. Piss off. So, they're all 20 quid each, but looks things, and I've got a stupid thing in the way. Uh, so at home, at Love Brewing, a shop I do use regularly, Black Pearl, Dash of the Flasher, Don and Blitzard, Lion's Pride, Loxley Ale, and Milestone at Old Home Wrecker, which is a winter ale. I'm just going to check the, um, the strength, because that to me sounds very interesting. And it doesn't tell me the strength. No. It's a three kilogram kit, which means you're not adding sugar, you know, you're just brewing it. Premium real ale to make 40 pints of beer, that's what it says. You know, that's not really. Um, Donna and Blitzer, though, that was amazing. Reviewed it the other night, really nice. Yeah, they certainly don't do Prance of the Dancer. They, they do um, some at the Flasher. And again, Donovan Blitz are a real Christmas cracker. 21 95 for 40 pints. 50... 54 pence a pint. So, out of five. 4.5 out of five. My brand's a phone call. Typical and Thanks for watching. See you soon. Get it, then you're gonna get it.